hello, hello. It's Julie. I'm here for another live and excited to see you all. And it looks like I'm early. I thought I was late. <laughs> ah, that's funny. So, <laughs> hello. And how is everybody? Okay, so I am Julie. I'm the CEO and queen creator at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY here on YouTube. And today, I am so excited, and I know Kelly's excited. We are going to be making altered paper clips. Now, several of them are going to just be the way that you would just normally see, but this is a beginner's class or series, so we'll be going back to the basics and doing some of the really really simple and and then i'm gonna hope that my brain kicks in and we get to make something um yeah so here we go we're gonna start off with my favorite and the easy the back-to-back -back ticket okay so if you have tickets and they're still on the roll you can go ahead and um fold them in half so you'll notice that on this side, the number's upside down, but on this side, it's right side up. I have a thing about the numbers being right side up. So this is going to be my front, and this is going to be my back. This is one of my favorite things to do because you can do it ahead. And, um, cat's, cat, you're printing. Yay! <laughs> cat is printing. All right. So which one, what are you printing? I'm going to show you a sneak peek. If you finished your March journal, well, this is supposed to be it printed portrait and still landscape, but there is a sneak peek of the digital kit that you will be receiving for finishing your digital, for finishing your journal in March. Yeah, March. Okay. So, um, they are... 1919 ladies <laughs> so they are fashion fashion french fashion 1919 and um it is a full journal kit i'm still adding to it so i'm gonna put what i have done in the in the group and then i still have a couple more things i want to do for it um so so that is that one and I hope to have its companion ready by um, the weekend also because when I release my digitals to the to the rest of the world after the party I like to have um, you know I, I like to have the companion that goes with it so we have a an altered paper clip okay so I don't know if you can just imagine you could go ahead and you could get a whole bunch of these ready. You could even, if you like to distress, you could even already have them distressed. And then you could come along with your digital or whatever you were going to be working with. And you could go ahead and, um, my thumbnail broke. It just broke right when I started the video. Um, so, and I don't think I have a... Yeah, I do have an emery board in here. I might have to. I might have to emery board it, you guys, because it's irritating me already. Okay, so I just ripped around. This is one of the ephemera from the F Fairies and Flutter digital kit. It's been hanging out on my desk, so we're gonna use this. Show us the angel that I didn't... Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I will do that. I will show you how to make the angel out of the paper clip. Um, yeah. Yep, yep. And if I forget, you remind me again. <laughs> okay, so then you can just go ahead and add things to it to... Um... I found the silver. So these are, these are silver messy strings, and I remember I told you that they came undone and they all stuck to each other. I just want to use them up, so we'll use a silver one here. Um, 
so I did finish the video for the um, mini challenge in the challenge. However, it doesn't it's it doesn't want to load. So um, it was ta it's taking its time. So it'll be tomorrow's uh, premiere. And I'm just working on the invitations for the party tomorrow. But do know that if you finished your journal and you posted it in the March group, you um, you will get to, you'll be invited to the party. So I did put a post in the March group that um, told you to uh, tell me that you finished. So if I haven't found you on my list, then I can go looking for you. Okay, I'm just going to set this here and let that do its thing. Then you can go ahead and uh, add some bling. <laughs> if you can get to any bling. Oh, here's a little... Is there any bling in there? No, but that's a cool little thing. We'll pull that out. Okay, so I love the way the file folder turned out. It turned out so, so cool. Okay. Oh, you you got good stuff, Heather? Or, no, it's Terry. I keep doing that. That's, there. there's Heather. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Um, it was going to be, but I, you guys, I can't be in... I can only, I can't be in three places at once. And I was finishing the, <laughs> poor me, poor me, <laughs> poor me. I, I made the mini, cha mini challenge in the challenge video. It doesn't want to upload. I was working on finishing the digital so that I could get the party started. Setting up the party, doing the invitations. I couldn't make a video and premiere so here I am live but I do believe we are going to um, do uh, most of the videos for right now are probably going to be premieres now don't panic what happens is I'm going to be here and it's going to if you haven't been to a premiere it's a pre-recorded video but I get to be in the chat and so I can still be there and answer the questions and and all of the stuff. And so it works out really well. So that did finally dry. So I highly recommend going through and just making a whole bunch of the bases and having them ready. And then you can just pull them out and, um, and use them. Another really cool thing about these is... You know, it's you don't have to worry that you weren't able to add your um, your tassel or tassel your fabric. I'm gonna just cut a piece off here because it's folded and it's down under stuff. Okay, so you can take a piece of fabric or your lace or your ribbon, and you can just put it up underneath your. Um, your paper clip and you can still have that or you can put a charm or whatever it is that you want to put on on the outside okay so my favorite I think I think that's my favorite okay so now we need a really big okay Do we have more than one Ah, there's one in with the black paper clips. I really, somebody needs to clean out this drawer. <laughs> okay, so we have two of those. Okay, so this is, um, she was asking about the angel. And let's see, I have a pair. I have some pearls. So we'll do it with a pearl. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> and some blue. 
I'm like, what do I have? I have some blue. It's not what I would probably use, but oh, it's even threaded. Yeah, get it unthreaded. So I hope everybody is having a great day. Recovered from the weekend. Ours was, our Sunday was very busy getting, working in our yard, which is awesome. Oh, I should have left the needle on. Sometimes, Joy. You know what? We're going to do it with crochet string because otherwise I'll be here for days trying to, <laughs> trying to thread the needle. Right? You all know me. So I have my magic needle. And I, I was um, Easter egg dyeing paper. I'm going to be Easter egg dyeing paper probably still for days. Um, my papers flew all over the yard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through. Okay. And then I'm going to come in my my angel wings. Do you see how that looks like the dress and the wings? I'm going to come back. Come through there. Come back up here. I put these in my um, when I when I do Bible journals. Okay? And then I'll usually tie it here. Okay, so tie it right above the, the bead. And I usually make these with ribbon. And I use like the pony beads because they're thicker. And then if you have a, um, and I, I don't know if I have any in here. I do. If you have a bead cap. Okay, so a bead cap is like like that little bead cap. Then um, putting that on there, it actually makes it look like it has a halo. So you can even make it fancier. <laughs> You'll have a window treatment and comfy place to relax. I there's no room in here for a comfy place to relax that's for sure no room in this in this room this is my only comfy place to relax in my mom's squeaky chair okay well if i could get the second one to go through see and i in a pre-recorded video i could go ahead and edit that out the fact that i can't get that put through there I do leave a lot of the mistakes and everything in my pre-recorded videos, but I do take out the stupid stuff like waiting for me to thread a needle. Or put thread through a bead cap. Am I the only one that has trouble like this? There we go. Okay, bead cap. Okay, so you have your sweet little angel. And the bead cap can actually go down onto, onto her. And then she can be a charm. She can be a dangle. She can um, hang out right down there. <laughs> See how you are, Heather? Pretty amazing, huh? It depends on where you're, whether you're wearing your cheaters. Yep. Okay. So anyway, so there you go. There is the angel out of a um, butterfly clip. Okay. So that was a requested. You heard, you heard her request. How do you? So asked about the angel that I didn't have the bead for the last time. So there you go. We have the angel and we have the bead. 
Okay, so um, these can go back up here. And let's go ahead and move on. Don't fall, please. Okay, so you guys, I am having so much fun with this, and I want to make sure that I am using it. So, um, let's see. I have the bird journal I'm working on. I have the peacock journal I'm working on. There is a peacock in here, and it's an odd shape. So let's see what we can do with this odd-shaped peacock that's in here. This one, see? It's very long. And I want to put it in the journal that I, the peacock journal that I, that I made for March. I shouldn't get to go to the party because I didn't finish my journal um, for the March party. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Julie can't come to the party because she did not finish. I finished, what, four or five other journals, but didn't finish my, my, that one. Okay. Is it going to fit? It is is so close if I cut around it closer I think it will fit or maybe we should just put it on something okay I can sit outside with Heather and you okay <laughs> well the thing is the really cool thing is um, me and the design team, <laughs> we get a free pass. <laughs> uh, but the design team has been amazing. They have all finished and done their journals, so we're good. But <laughs> that's their, that's one of their prizes for, um, for being amazing and helping me so much. Okay, so, um, okay, so here, this is from out of that antiquarian sticker book, and I, I love this book. I keep telling you, I got mine at Target with my red card, and there was an extra 5% off. That week, if you used your red card, you got 5% off your, another additional 5% off your total purchase. So it cost me right around $17. And um, so if you remember the video, I went through and we counted how many pages of stickers you got. And we compared it to if you went to Dollar Tree and bought stickers. And, you know, this, this is really cool because you get such a variety and we found a few peacocks and you'll see I use a, a fairy on the file folder that I found boy Julie that was not I started out right up against it and then I went away okay so odd odd sizes yes you can still do odd sizes okay Now you can possibly use the, um, now we're going to have to make another one of these. Like that, I think, right? Or should it go across the page? I guess we'll make it so that it can do either. Whatever you want it to do. Okay, I don't think that this is going to fit. Yeah. So we're going to use a regular paper clip. I'm going to use a... A larger paper clip okay I'm going to take the long end put it behind and put the shorter end in front and then I'm going to cut it out okay so you know what let's go ahead and glue it we'll do it different this time we'll glue it down we we'll put our glue around our, all around the paper clip so that it stays where it's supposed to stay. And then we'll come in and we'll put the glue on here. 
And then I'm noticing it is sticky paper. So I'm also going to add a little ATG that will hopefully... Wow, there is a pile of tools down here. They fell over into a pile. Okay, so I'm just going to put... That will help hold it while it's while it's drying, I hope. Okay, we've got to hurry up. It's taking too long. Oh, well, we'll go over here. Okay. There, <laughs> <Yeah>, penguin. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't do it fast enough. But it's okay. We'll fix it. Okay. And then we'll go around and cut around it again. Okay, so you can make a paper clip to fit whatever it is that you're working with. Even if it's a peacock. I don't know if you guys remember, but I kept calling peacocks penguins. And that's because penguins start with P. <laughs> and also, my sister loved penguins. We called them panga ducks, actually. One of the kids called it a panga duck. And so that was what they were. Okay, so there is my penguin. I guess I did do them upside. I was going to do them that way. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> he can go in from the top. He's just going to be hanging. It's okay. <laughs> So, there you go. Then you can go ahead and glitz it up a little if you wanted to. You'll want to be ventilated if you're going to go this way. I'm going to go ahead and add some sparkle. So you won't notice that he's hanging upside down. I don't know. Do they hang upside down? I don't know. They might. <laughs> I think I might fingernail polish mine that are outside. They've lost their oomph. They're still beautiful. Duh. They're not real. <laughs> we'll go around his feathers here. Okay, so that just gives us A little special on there. I'm not going to add anything else to it because um, I don't want to add any more bulk to that journal. But the other thing I think would be really cool is if you put a, a peacock feather like coming out of the peacock. Um, I think that that would be really cool. So there we go. I do have some blue also. <laughs> I do have some blue.
ugly glitters. And again, it is fingernail polish. It dries really fast. Doesn't bulk up what I'm whatever it is that I'm working on. Oh, I like that. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but um, I really like the blue on there. I like it. Okay, so you can make a giant paper clip, and it will hold. We'll check that out once um, it's dry. So I did bring a couple of paper clips that were in my desk. So we have these... Um, interesting paper clips here that they have a bar across the bottom so this is what they look like and I had gotten those at Staples and so we added some doily brought it up and around added a rose on top of it added a little key charm and a little dilly bobber that's from a bracelet a michael's bracelet you'll see me use these a lot they um they were already already had already turned into a charm so um there's that one and then this is a piece of the reclaimed wedding dress so um and it's just a piece of the lace that after i cut everything off this was sitting there so I put it on one of those paper clips and oh my gosh this holds really well I need to that was in happy mail I need to find some of those paper clips because it's pretty amazing okay so this is what we've got so far we've got some and then we've got our angel she's not really a well she is a paper clip but we're not using her as a paper clip today. But there we go. Okay. Um, so you have seen the banner type. And it's another one that you can make with the, with the tickets. Okay. So you can make a banner style with a ticket. And um, you can either use this rung or the short rung is usually the way that I, I would do it and go ahead, put it on, fold it over. And I like to make sure that, you know, this side up and I'm going to go ahead and use the fabric tack again. There we go. And then you can decorate it however you want to to, to match your um, journal. This is another one that you could make a whole bunch. And um, so you can make a whole bunch of these and have them ready. Okay, so there's the banner one. You can also do that with a, um, with a set of the... Uh, flinch cards. So these are the flinch cards. These are available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. It's as a digital. These are printed, I believe, at are they five by seven? So if this was a flint, that would be full size. So that would be three by three and a half by five? No. That's five by seven. I think. I'm sorry, I don't know which size that would be. So, um, but you could do the same thing with this and make yourself a base for a banner. Okay. So another thing that I like to do with my paper clips is add like little pieces of lace down here at the bottom or a piece of fabric so 
if you know what you're gonna that you want to add some fabric down at the bottom of your banner okay and you pull it up like this and you can again go ahead and fill it up with the glue put the extra on the bottom because we're going to put the the fabric across and I'm just going to set it in there set that down and there you have a banner with with a little with a skirt <laughs> don't pull on it though because you'll pull it right out <laughs> don't pull on it Julie you'll pull it right out okay so and you can have a base and then when you figure out what you are going to be using then you can go ahead and add the the things that you're using in your journal like a butterfly and I'm just pulling things off my desk <laughs> there's some uh, bling and then with the bling we can go ahead and grab piece of this this is the Rapunzel thread <laughs> tangled it, that's what it reminds me of so that's what I call it it's, like, it's my Rapunzel or my tangled hair what is her name in tangled I don't remember what that princess's name is so I can go ahead and add this add a little bit of glue Put this down. Grab my my bling. Okay, we can go ahead and add this to our body. And if you can get it in the center. There you go. Okay, so we have antenna, antennae added to our butterfly okay and if you have like a little sticker or something you could add look what I found you guys I found my word stickers I think magical So just like we've been collaging, you just kind of collage right there on that paper clip. Okay? So that's something you can do with your flinch cards or your tickets. I mean, you could just go ahead and take your ticket and... Put some words on it too. I have laugh and love. Hopefully, there's a live in here. Aha, live. 
I think that's the first time I've ever found what I was looking for when I was on camera. <laughs> so just adding some sweet little sentiment and then you can come up and go ahead and rip out some daisies and a butterfly out of your ephemera that's on your desk because you're trying to use up everything that's around. <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm trying to use up everything that's around me. So another thing that I like to do with my bling is do the dot 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 and I don't see anymore. I don't, I don't see the bling here anymore. So, But that would be Did I have the purple? Ah, that's too big. see the gold oh there's the gold this one's this one's light gold to me that's my favorite one I'll be using that with our new I'll be using that tomorrow in the party I'll be using my word stickers because I found them <laughs> so what do you guys want to make for the party tomorrow those of you, those of you that get to go. Yes, don't forget we have to be, oh, I just put that on the wrong one. Okay. Okay, so we have a couple of banners and a ticket. Okay, so some of the other... Let's go, let's pull out our, oh, it's so full. It's hot in here. My, my room is hot today. Okay. So we've done, um, let's do a really, a large, a large, um, using the, we'll use the, we'll use the book again. I love that. So we are back in the antiquarian sticker book. Looking for something large. That's well, pretty large. Oh, I can use it. I'll be able I can use that. I'll find something to use it with. <laughs> okay, put the book back up where you're keeping it so that you remember to use it. Okay, that's not thick enough. I want an actual piece. Where'd that, where'd the packaging go? We'll use the packaging again. Maybe. There it is, okay. Okay, um, you can also go ahead and whoop, put, we're going to use the butterfly clip. You can put it down. That one has been compromised. It's like been used for something really thick. I only have about a thousand maybe more of those <laughs> and I can't find one okay so there we go that will fit and we'll go ahead and you can stick your your sticker right over it but I'm not going to we're going to need a second Okay, 
we'll go ahead and put our sticker on here. Um, for the spring blossom, what I did is I had a... Oh, that's the one I had, the mason jar. And the I made the flower bouquet in it. And out of one of the digitals. around so did anybody work in their gardens this weekend we um, we worked I, I told I, I, we worked in the tiki room so we have um, almost an acre of property. And my husband at one time had built this um, built-in swimming. He called it the swimming box. It was a small swimming pool so that his kids could learn how to swim. And the hole is still there, but there's no swimming pool at this time. Anyway, it's, it's taken care of and... There's a little cabana that he built that was next to it. And I had turned that into a tiki room for my daughter's 30th birthday, which she'll be 37 this week. Um, and it was really cool. We, um, I, I did a tiki room. I had birds, not real birds, but fake birds that I could find. And I had... All kinds of fun flowers and uh, flamingos and stuff like that. And we had a tiki bar um, in there. And it fell. The roof caved in. And the some, we have ground squirrels. And they undermined the cement squares. And so they fell in. Two of the two of the um, bar stools had fallen down into the where the pool hole was. <laughs> so we started working on that this weekend while I was working on just the regular patios. And of course, last year my mom had passed. Whoops! My mom had passed away in March. And then my dad got sick in July, and I went and stayed there. And after my dad, my mom passed away, I, I spent a lot of time with my dad. I'm so grateful. Um, so, okay, so we've got this on here. Now this, you see why I want these to go away? <laughs> these cookies, these, that was a really good idea until... They are not a good idea. There's no weight to them. So they, they fall down. Bye, Donna. Yeah, no penguins in the... No penguins in the tiki room. Penguins are... There are a couple of penguins in the front yard. And we have penguins at Christmas time. Okay, so we used another one of the stickers for the antiquarian. So you can see where if you can just keep making the same thing over and over, like if you made 10 of those, and had them them ready and could just pop them into a journal real quick. Um, 
I think that that would be a really great way to go. And um, back in the day, that's how I that's how I did stuff before I was constantly just teaching them something different, something different, something different. Um, I would make several of the same thing. And look what I did. Oh, well, that's okay. You can just go ahead and have that be the way it is up here. Just come down like that. So I'm seeing that people are starting to find the rub-ons in their Dollar Trees. Um, I've seen that on a couple of the Dollar Tree websites or Facebook groups. So if you're getting essentials at Dollar Tree, well remember stickers have a shelf life when they're in the book. Does that help? <laughs> okay. So there's that. And I'm not going to do it right now because I don't know what, um, where I'll use this. Like this would be awesome with that file folder. So if I made another file folder or something, this would be, be awesome with that. Um, I really like the poppies. I think that that's really cool. And the, and then in the minis, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, um, so the thing about these is these big paper clips, they will hold in a large, a large item. You can see that's not moving, but the this will help hold things down. So I highly recommend making the large. The large pieces like this and then you can come in if you um, come in you can co you can come in um, <laughs> be really cool to add if I knew what I was you know what the theme was or whatever but to add one of the quotes onto it would be really pretty and like I said and then some lace or something up at the top even cheesecloth That book in in Canada is $175. Wow. 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 That is that is crazy. Okay. So and of course just like the other one you can, if you've made them and you had them made ahead of time, you can come in and just add your embellishment to the top as well. Okay? Okay. Okay, so another thing is post-it notes are awesome. And again, you can just build, like we built the clusters. You can go ahead and build yourself a little cluster. Okay. 
let's see. Let's see, let's see. We got little white flower here. We were doing these in the with the little white flower and using the green flower that are usually more than one stuck together for um, for leaves. So you can go ahead and just like we were collaging, you can go ahead and collage yourself on a post-it note or a page flag. And do the same thing okay so just like we did the ticket you can put the put the um, put the paper clip up here on the top large side on the back okay so just like just like that now there's another type and um, Let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll just fold this over. We'll throw that away. We're going to fold this piece over. Okay, and then we can go ahead and cut this. Then we'll cut one and we'll cut a second one okay and what we're going to do here is we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to put this will be the front We'll go ahead and attach it with our and I'm using fabric tack instead of hot glue because I burnt myself once with the hot glue and it hurt really bad so I don't do the hot glue anymore so then you can take this side and put it up inside and close it up and you can actually decorate both sides of your paper clip and then have it go down over your paper and it'll just tug right on there and you'll have a side that you can decorate on both sides so again this is another one that you could already have ready you could go ahead and make these out of the folded tickets and have it ready um, another thing that I used to do a whole lot and I haven't been doing so much lately Let's see if I can find one that I might be able to use is the hearts okay so the hearts same thing go ahead and You can go ahead and do them just like the others where you put your large part of your paper clip behind. These are not um, the same. I can't do it this way. Well, you can actually. Um, especially, if you, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, and we're going to do that because there you go. And you'd have. Okay, let's go ahead and get our paper clip and then figure out about where the okay so you just want to make sure that you cover your paper clip 
there you go. Our trash usually gets dumped at in the morning, like while it's still dark, and it, they just came. They're behind, I guess. Okay, and then you can go ahead and add a cute little butterfly like we've been doing because they're right here on the desk. There we go. Okay, so that gives us the heart paper clip. Now you could do, again, the same thing with two hearts or four hearts, heart to heart and heart to heart, and have it be like we just did with this, this little one. And there's another really easy, silly thing that you can do is you can go ahead and make a little flag with your washi tape. So you can just go ahead and feed this through. Sure you can. You can. You really can. You can also do it like the banner. Feed it through. Clamp it together because my thumb is, is not happy today. It's not a happy thumb. Okay, and then cut it. And you could even give it a snake tongue. There you go. So that's another little way that you can do a paper clip. And another one that you can do, and I've done these for gifts. Like I'll do several paper clips as a gift. Okay, I was counting. <laughs> I was counting really slow, so five on each side. You can go ahead and with these fun little paper clips here, and then make sure you have the same amount on both sides. And stick them together. I think it's so funny that I don't have any of these problems usually when I'm not on camera. There we go. So there you have a glam. A little glam. Okay. Um... There are some others that are really, really fun. Oh, you know, um, in case you didn't watch the video the other day, let's see, we can do it with, we'll do it with this. Okay, so if you go ahead and wrap a paper clip, we'll use our gloop from the fabric pack. And you go around and you wrap a paper clip then it can become I'm going to just cut this out here now it'll go over it'll become a charm 
Okay, so I think that counts as an altered paper clip because now it's a charm and you can use that in like a dangle. You can attach another paper clip to it. <laughs> Don't have as much glue as I have. Attach. So this is a this was a necklace and it's corn, and I took the, took it apart and I have those little corn rings. I usually sell them with the f uh, fairy kits. So there's that. You can have that on there, and then you can add it to a paper clip. We'll have a dangly paper clip. Okay. There's a pony bead, like what I was talking about that I usually use on the, the angels. Okay, and we've done several broken jewelry videos lately. Broken jewelry is another great, easy way to... Um, decorated paper clip so we have this was one of my mom's earrings it was in a little box that was all not, no matches and I think I had this out to make the journal that I made last year for May but I didn't use this particular one and it's I'm really struggling to get it there we go. And you can just go ahead and put this on. You don't have to attach it to anything. And it could be all by itself. You could add um, your piece of fabric like we've been doing. So there are a couple ways that I add fabric to um, to a paper clip. One is just and tying it on. Okay, so just putting it through and tying it in a knot. Very very simple. Even with all that fluff. Okay. So there's very, very simple. You can cut it shorter. You can leave it long. Um, another one is to, and sometimes I have to do that type with the knot because I just don't have enough to, to, to do anything else. You can tie it in. You can tie it in a knot. You can tie it in a bow. Uh, you can throw it over your shoulder. Okay. Um. The other thing is, is you can fold it in half and put it through and then come around and put your tails back through it. The party is at 335 tomorrow and the premiere is going to be the mini challenge in the challenge instead of the beginner series it'll be the second part of the mini challenge in the challenge the file folder I finished mine and but the video wouldn't upload for us to be able to do a premiere today and so I figured that'll give me at least 12 hours um, no the invites you guys I rent there's like I've got I've got my list. I've made my list. The group is partially made. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have moved the party up as I'm like chasing my tail to do to do it all. But that's okay. 
Okay. Um. If you finished your journal, go um, put your name on the post that I just put in there before this video started, and um, and it, yeah, <laughs> the invite will be in there this evening. <laughs> Yeah, I think it all caught up with me today. <laughs> it's like, Julie, you need to finish the mini challenge in the challenge. You need to make finish your digital kit. <laughs> make a group. Invite, the, Go and find out who finished their journals. Invite them to the party. Make a party. There we go. Okay, so we can just add our little... See, and we've got paper clips that are ready for a journal. I mean, these are all um, similar and would go together yet look different enough that you don't have the exact same thing all throughout. So I think it's... The peacock's going in the peacock journal. And then we have these that we we had also. And our little, this little one. And we didn't decorate this one, but it's, it's ready. So I'll give you a quick peek. This is the uh, digital. And this is large tags. They're supposed to be this. They, they printed portrait instead of um, this way. So that is your sneak peek. There are pages. There are is ephemera. Um, I'll be putting part of the digital kit into the group and then I'll be adding more to it because um, I have some other stuff that I want to do for it for you that um, I didn't didn't get done yet. So at least we'll have some things <laughs> we'll have some things in there for you. I think it's like 25 pages or something is what I have so far so. And, and for those of you that didn't, um, didn't finish your journal or didn't even know about it yet, uh, those digitals will be available in the shop, hopefully on Friday. And, um, and of course all the digitals are half price. So while we're home, okay, well, don't lose that. That's the. If you saw that, that's the list for the the mini challenge and the challenge. It was sitting there the whole time. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we did. And I need some, there we go. Okay, so we did our angel out of a butterfly clip. Okay, so there you go. And all of these, well, the ones, I'll, I'll show you the ones that were made in this uh, video first. So we have our banner ticket. We have our banner flinch card with the skirt. We have our flat ticket paper clip. We have our heart, our double heart, and that is where we use the hearts and put them together over the paper clip. 
We have our bling on bling. So those are glued together. And this paper clip goes like this. So this hangs down um, like this. But it's kind of fun. It, it looks really cool when you have several different um, different things and you can give that. The other thing is, is you can separate it and put them up here at the top and have them come out of the top. Okay. Let's see, where did our peacock go? Oh, he's over here. We made a, our peacock out of the antiquarian sticker book and some packaging so it's a really large paper clip and washi tape and the end on one another one of these paper clips And then we did a couple different ways of adding the fabric or ribbon. You add ribbon the same way or lace. Okay, we have our gigantic botanical. And this is going to be great. It will hold things in really, really well. So if you have a large card that you want to hold in a journal, um, this, this works really, really well. So it's a really, really big one on the butterfly clip. And then we did, took and made a charm out of our paper clip, added a charm to the bottom, and added it to a paper clip, and then added broken jewelry onto there. So we have a dangly paper clip. Really, really simple. Actually, all of these were really simple. Um, I hope that you enjoy. Looks like you like the ticket and the flinch card and the botanical. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Look at Terry. I've got plenty of time to finish this month's challenge. <laughs> yes, you do. So. Yes, the party tomorrow is. Um, I might be wearing PJs to the party. <laughs> I might be wearing PJs right now. I might not have ever actually gotten dressed in real... I do have on leggings. <laughs> but they're not pants. <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. So tomorrow at 10.35... Or 10.30, 10.30, we will have the premiere of the mini challenge and the challenge number four. For April and it is the rest of the file folder and what you need to do um, to finish and have your four and when you finish it you will have you will have a night nice, you will have a finished little project when you do all the things that I put in the challenge um, party is at 335 will back be back to regular schedule on Wednesday with a premiere um, at 10.35 and um, possibly our, our lives might change to premieres. <clears throat> okay, now if they change to premieres, they're going to be an hour long. So I guess what I want to know is do you want to still start at 3.35? Yeah, we need to start at 3.35. So we'll... We'll still start at 335. Um, what's happening is a lot of people are having trouble because the bandwidth of internet has been reduced so much that they're not able to get up. They're not able to run <laughs> run the live video through in their um, with with their bandwidth that they have. So, but they can use a premiere. And so those of you that do not know, the premiere is a pre-recorded video. So it's like one of my regular videos, but it starts at a certain time and we can all be there at the same time. And there is a chat just like this one. So you guys can go ahead and chat and I'm there if you have questions. 
So we will definitely be using Premier for going forward for the um, all of the elements of any of the um, which call it <laughs> the challenges and any flip throughs of journals will be premieres and um, so I want to make sure that I can do two or three premieres in a day so I'm going to check that out um, but I really have enjoyed being able to be in the chat and um, and then to have a regular video is is a great thing too so um, okay so all of the the elements for April have been done and um, so the again the mini challenge and the challenge will be tomorrow and uh, at 10 30 the party for those that finish their March journals will be at 335 and that will be live and I will post as soon as I'm going to post the group then I'm going to you're going to get your invite and then the um, the link to the group or to the live party will be there okay so you guys do you do you like the the um, the premiere the other thing about that, I, 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 I like it. I, I really do like the premieres. So, okay. Okay. So, have an amazing day, you guys. Thank you so, so much. And um, Tara has seven letters to finish, plus make her signatures. Yep, you guys like them. Okay. The party, no, no, the party is live. I'm not ready to premiere <laughs> the party, but we'll have the party will be live. And that's, you know, that's more, I can go back and forth and there's not as many in the chat so I can pay attention. Um, this gets, this can get really hard. I want to thank my, um, my moderators, uh, Kelly and Bonnie and Robin. Thank you for being here. I didn't, I, didn't, I don't know if Joyce made it or not, um, but always thank you to Joyce as well for keeping our our uh, taking care of the gate and um, yeah so who's bring yeah who's bringing the snacks this month will you guys figure that out um, and I will be there and um, yes dairy I will list the I'll list what you'll want to print okay okay she is here Joyce is here somewhere Okay. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Ouch. <laughs> My chair won't move, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys all at the party or at the premiere. Bye-bye. <laughs>